Oh, hi. <laughs> so the minecart system you see behind me has been a workhorse in the Minecraft community for a very, very long time. It has weathered the storm of many, many updates until now. 1.16.1, uh, these minecart systems with an unloading, with an automatic unloading and loading system uh, have gotten a little more finicky and I'll show you exactly how. And if you don't know how they work, basically items go in the unloading portion from a farm or a mine and a f that turns off, it fires once it's empty. And the same thing happens over here. Once there's nothing left in the minecart hopper, everything goes into the storage system and then it fires uh, when everything has been emptied out. Pretty simple concept, right? But a lot of people are finding that with the old system, which has a hopper right there instead of a chest, or if there's too much lag, or if the even if the minecart is going way too fast, it's a little more finicky because if you see, I don't have a chest there. What tends to happen, let's wait till it comes back, it's unpowered and it powers and goes off and nope. Yeah, it didn't really stop there, did it? And, oh, there's still stuff in there. And now, uh, as soon as you put a chest down... Okay, it's uh, emptying here. And look at that. So that's a fix that works for a large majority of individuals. And if you want to know how to build this exact system, I have a tutorial. The only YouTube link you're going to find in the description underneath this video is going to be exactly how to build this. And also, you could screenshot this right now if you want. And we come over here, you can screenshot that. But uh, in my realm, for example, there was so much, there was so much lag and my minecart was going so fast because it was really just going up a hill very, very fast and around corners. Even that wasn't working. So they've gotten even more finicky than I thought. So I designed this system and this system is foolproof, guys. This is absolutely foolproof. Hopefully you won't have to uh, turn to this. I'm gonna make a block by block tutorial on how to make this. Um, you can skip the creation of this one if that one works just fine. Uh, but what I do also wanna teach you guys how to do is a problem with this system here for the loading portion is that there's no backup system. Here, let's turn this on. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So let's say there's an abundant amount of resources being plugged in by a farm here. So much so that it's going to overflow your uh, minecart, you know, your minecart with hopper here. And what happens is when you've overflown the system is it ain't going to move, right? It's just going to stay there forever and you're not going to know about it because you'll be elsewhere. But with this system, what's great is this piston retracts from usually it's extended over that cactus but now uh, the cactus is going to be able to grow and see it grew and then the pulse got put into a pulse extender and there it's off so and then that pulse gets plugged right into a mic you know a a uh, track there and which is connected to this track and then it fires off and now as you can see this system has stopped this. It's slowly releasing items into the system here. There's apps. This is an absolute foolproof system. If you have a really laggy server and you need something that's going to absolutely 100% be a, a, a tr tr you know, a tried and true gatekeeper for you, uh, that's not going to let any minecarts get by without getting stopped. And this is the system. All right. So for this block by block tutorial, we're going to start first with the unloading system. And we're also going to teach you how to build the uh, uh, backup system. And actually, the backup system is nice because it can be completely encased underground. But now you want to decide which way your rail is going to go, right? You have a basic L pattern here, and you remove the, you know, the elbow of the L. And if it's diagonal to the left, it's going to go this direction. And if it looks like this, then the, the cart's going to go in that direction. This is your return block. In this case, I want it to go to the right. So therefore, I'm going to do that diagonal uh, that goes off to the left. And I'm going to put a powered rail here, a comparator with the both the torches facing in this direction, you know, towards the directionality of the rail, the way I want it to go. And then you shift click on the powered rail just like that and the hopper should appear right on top of it just like that see look now it's there's a redstone output and what we do with that redstone output 
is we put a torch just like that. Uh, so if there is something in there, it's gonna cancel out that torch. And when there isn't something in there, that torch is going to be lit. And now what we wanna do is break these two blocks down here, build out two slabs just like that. And you'll see why in a second. Redstone repeater going forward directly into this block, which is going to invert when this signal is inverted here. Uh, here, let's uh, grab some redstone dust because that's the next thing. Put some redstone dust like that. Okay, that uh, rail is fired. You put it in and it gets inverted just like that. So that, that's where you should be right now. And for actually feeding stuff in, it doesn't really matter how you do it. You know, you can uh, do it off to the side if you like. Just like that. I don't know what direction you're feeding stuff in. Really does not matter. It, just know that if you're feeding it like this, you want to build that one extra tall, just like that. Because uh, watch what watch what happens if you were to build it right on top, just like this. Uh, let's put in this diamond helm. It gets locked right there. This uh, redstone torch is lock hopper. So, but if you build it one up like this, so there's one space like that. You're not going to have that issue. It's going to go all the way to the end where you need it to be. So now if we stand like this in front of the build, if we go to the right, this is where we're going to start building our backup system. So what you do is you uh, start destroying blocks uh, right next to this um, powered rail uh, and you go five blocks out. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And you go four more blocks, one, two, three, four in this direction. And then you go one, two, three, four, five, all the way till you get to these slabs. And you dig everything out just like this and three blocks deep, just like that. As you can see, one, two, three, and you just dig it all out. And of course, when you're doing this, make sure that you keep this block that the powered rail is on top of. In fact, if you want to remind yourself a little better uh, to not get rid of it, maybe even you know, slap uh, a tip like a regular block instead of a grass block there, just to remind yourself. And right now you can find something very, very interesting, and that is that if you build a, a block that is uh, right beside this block that uh, this redstone repeater is, is powering, you can actually hijack that symbol, that signal rather, and just build one diagonal down just like that put another redstone dust just like that. So now when you plug stuff in, boom, that turns off. If that's doing that for you, then you're on the right track. So now you grab a normal piston and you feed it right there. And of course, where it's extended, that's where you want it to block the cactus. So where this is extended, you're gonna wanna put a you know, piece of sand right there. The cactus is gonna be blocked by this you know extended portion of this and all the way around this cactus you can dig it out just like that and now you grab your observer and you can shift click that half of the piston the extended portion of course this is where your cactus is going to grow right when uh and then of course the the observer is going to observe the block change and now you can you can actually build up this entire section here this entire one two three four five six by two area here so pretty simple here guys repeater goes out repeater goes on tick four so the tick that's all the way on the ends if it sets all the way back up to the top you've gone too far that one just like that and then redstone, redstone, redstone wraps all the way around. And then we want a uh, comparator just like that. Two torches facing that way. Then another one, two torches facing that way, just like that. The one on the left, like that, right, like that. If you're facing this direction, right, makes sense. And then we want to put two more redstone dust just like that. So now, if you have a block that's right underneath uh, this comparator here, if you have, you know, this block right here, get rid of it right now. What we want to do is create a connection between this rail and the rails, you know, streaming down like we have on the other side there. And if you've done this correctly, if you put a redstone torch there, that's going to fire just like that. All right. And then now it's unfired. All right. Fair enough. And then 
redstone repeater goes directly into that rail and then one more redstone dust just like that and now boom just like that works perfectly that cactus grew and everything worked exactly as it needed to and that you know fired off uh, exactly as planned now let's take that item out and you have a full-on backup system here guys you can now in case this boy in dirt all the way around except this area right here keep that area uh, uncovered uh, you can do something like this if you wanted to do a little terraforming uh, you wanted to be fancy or whatever but otherwise don't like put a block there or anything like that that's going to ruin uh, the system so now you're going to want to make sure there's at least one regular rail after this powered rail and then after that you can make, do, you know have as many power rails as you want just going and going and going i'm going to make this a little longer in nature I really want to let this, uh, you know, collect quite a bit of speed. So in that way, I can really prove the point that this guy is an absolute beast. So now we're going to build this up on top of the system, if that makes any sense. Kind of how it is up here. It kind of has to go up and over. And before you do that, make sure there's at least one regular rail. And now you build a pedestal where you can have a powered rail. Don't worry about powering it just yet. Leave it unpowered. And now here you go chest, hopper, powered rail. Just like that. Nice and simple. Now what you're going to want to do is put a block right there. Comparator. And now you place down a temporary block, a permanent block. You get rid of the temporary block. Another temporary block, permanent block, get rid of the temporary block, just like that. Uh, and then we put a repeater right there. And the, oh, sorry. And temporary block, permanent block, get rid of that. And the redstone torch goes right there, just like that. And as soon as stuff goes in there, there we go, unpowered, and then powered again. Very nice. So if that's happening for you, then again, you are on track. Sorry if I'm going too fast, guys, but yeah, you can screenshot that and replay it as you need. So now, just like the other side, we're going to hijack the signal from this repeater, you know, uh, plugging into this block here. We're going to put a redstone repeater just like that. Then, with the hoppers, we build one out like that. And then we jump on top of this one, shift, and jump in place just like that and then one two three four five just like that so we see the spouts facing directly into this and these spouts are going all the way along and down out and down and if you look from above we have one two three four five six hoppers just from the above view like that subtracting these guys down here if that makes it any easier so now place a temporary block permanent block get rid of the temporary block so we have this pulsing directly into this block just like that put a redstone dust just like that boom 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 okay uh going you know just blocks all going all the way to the ends we place down three redstone repeaters all on tick zero just like that and then we have a target block so now you just want to make sure that you have a return block just like that make sure you have a nice solid block that this minecart is going to bump directly into right and all the way up here we're going to just put regular rails just like that it seems to work better because it slows down the minecart a little bit um now what we're going to want to do is put a redstone dust on top of this target. You feed it all the way around just like this until it's, you know, uh, you stop right before this rail. You feed around the dust all the way around. You, pu you make it feed directly into a block just like that. You can even put a redstone repeater there if you want. Then uh, a torch on the other side, and that torch should invert immediately. 
And now we're going to play some blocks. We go one, two. You can put, put a redstone dust right there. Temporary block, permanent block. Get rid of the temporary block. And you build it out like this. And this is one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five. And the redstone goes all the way along. And this is where the sticky piston blocks the minecart. You put it just like that, facing in this direction. And you kind of go on a lower angle and aim towards the back of the block to be able to achieve that. And you put any kind of solid block right there. So now to make the hopper locking system, what we're going to do is kind of map out where uh, we're going to put some uh, redstone bits. Uh, so it's going to start here. We're just going to put out some blocks to give you an idea. So we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And then we're going to go uh, build one up like that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just like that. And this is actually the time when you're probably going to want to build out uh, some hoppers as you know as to where this stuff goes and what I've been kind of doing is building them out like this so then yeah see they're uh, the feeding through and they go all the way over here so you can just keep let's say your storage system is somewhere over here just like that All right, now that that is established, redstone dust goes right there. We're gonna put a redstone repeater right there. It's coming around, coming around, coming around. Red, another redstone repeater. And all the way up to there. And actually you're going to break this last one here, my bad. And you're gonna put a block here and then a redstone torch just like that. So this signal is going to cancel out this redstone torch. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is shift click a hopper right into there. Shift click a hopper right into that, like just like this. And we're gonna we're, we're gonna want both spouts spouts facing into each other and going in this direction. Like even though the two spouts are you know over here, we want it on this side over here. Okay, so again crouch into it, break this one. Both spouts are into each other. And what will happen is now we have a locked uh, hopper clock. But of course, we're not going to want a diamond helmet <laughs> inside of the uh, the hopper clock here. What I like to use is golden chest plates. They they create a really really nice uh, you know signal coming out of that when it blips. Uh, and the way we get a blip out of it is we put a comparator right there. And what we're going to want to do is build out blocks in an L just like this. So build them out until, oh yeah, sorry. So uh, one, two, three after this comparator. And then you build up just like that. Redstone torch right beside your, you know, the hopper that matters the most out of this whole system. The one that this comparator is sensing. This, these two bits, these two redstone bits are the most important of this entire uh, thing essentially and now what we're going to want to do is just what you could do here is just kind of assess uh how much here if you cancel this out you'll see clearly the redstone signal is not strong enough so you put a repeater and now it is now it's canceling out this torch in and out in and out and just place your redstone torch so it locks that uh and of course when a redstone signal is being pushed into a block it's going to uh, you know, unlock this essentially. So now we have a fully functioning system, guys. And if you're testing the system right now and it does not work, I have an instant fix for you guys. Just modify the hopper clock just a little bit to make it four instead of two. So we have a circle of hoppers all facing into each other that's going to pulse around and around and around. And of course the... Uh, gold chest plate is gonna go in there so now if we come over here we're, we have some items up in here we're gonna let them load in hopefully the backup system doesn't fire prematurely because the items have been in there for a little bit and we beat the backup system there we go okay 
So it's going up and up and up, and there we go, and here comes the piston. Boom! Just like that, guys. The fact that we increase this, uh, you know, the time that this hopper clock fires, it, it slows down the rate as to which the items go into the system, unfortunately, but it ensures that there's, in this case, we have five, six, seven, eight items in the system at all times. I like to have it so there's at least six. Yeah, you could test the effectiveness of this system by how many items there are in reserve here. As you can see, there are items coming through. It's just kind of hard to tell sometimes. But, you know, if we have six items in here, you know, for sh it's a surefire thing that you've accounted for lag and the speed of the minecart. As you see, I have a lot of speed catching up here. So when I only when I only had um, two like a double hopper clock going back and forth, it was actually too fast, and there was zero items in reserve. But now that I have four, uh, it's perfect. And actually, what you can do if this is if this doesn't work, let's tweak this even further. If the the four hopper clock does not work, here we go. Uh, and then we here there's a little bit of. Just got to make sure that it goes around in a circle. It can be a little finagly. Okay, so all the spouts are going around in a circle. Correct. Okay, we got some things loaded just like that. And we should be off to the races pretty soon. So now that we've created a six hopper clock, it's going to drain even slower into the system, but it's going to be even... Yes, see how quickly that, uh, that piston fired just like that? It kind of had a stutter effect, but I think that was more of a glitch than anything else. Uh, look at that. We have 11 items uh, in reserve. That is excellent. Obviously, we're going to have a, a much slower output. Look at that. Boom. Boom. But it's going to get done nonetheless. Uh, like, obviously, the... You know, it's going to take a lot longer for all of this, but it's going to be a surefire thing. So the more lag you have and the faster your minecart is going, uh, the more the, the, the larger hopper clock you're going to want. Uh, in my uh, realm, uh, it was going just slow enough that I only needed a double hopper clock. Uh, but this one needs at least a four, and some people are going to need a six or even an eight, uh, you know, going around and around. And that just slows how often um, an item makes it to this comparator and therefore cancels out uh, this, you know, uh, hopper locker, essentially. So uh, if this helped you out, guys, uh, th th this was a, a chore to make, and I would really, really uh, love it if you could subscribe to me. Uh, here on the Massacre's Boys Gaming Channel. I love you so much. I want to kiss you directly on the lips. And uh, thank you so much. Like the video, share the video, and you are the best.